Hi guys, it's Just Modest Fiction and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be sharing my December wrap up and also discussing my worst reading slump of 2021. All right guys, so in December I read five and a half books. I typically wouldn't include a book that I haven't finished, but there is a reason why I'm going at a slower pace and I will discuss that book when I get to it. Now, only one of the books on this list I would give five stars, the rest were okay. And that's kind of unfortunate because I feel like I had a lot going on in December. My husband and I had plans pretty much every weekend. We went to that gaming convention um, and then there was Christmas and we were with family and none of the books I was really gripped by. And then I felt guilty that I wasn't reading. So I really wanted to read the new Zodiac Academy and I just felt so guilty that I had gotten to it. But I don't know why I felt that way. I mean, I don't think you guys are that upset about it. I will read it soon. So I just continued on with my reread and hopefully January will be better and I will read a lot more and enjoy it a lot more. But this month it was just kind of a dud and that's okay, it happens. So now if you're unfamiliar with my channel, I post new videos every Thursday and Sunday. If you haven't yet, please like and subscribe. You can also hit the notification bell to be notified whenever I post new book as content. You can also check out my Instagram. It is linked down in the description below. With all of that out of the way, let's talk about the books I read in December. All right, so we're going to start off with a book that I actually binge read last night. I wasn't expecting to like it quite as much as I did. And that is A Court of Honey and Ash, and I will leave the authors on the screen. And I kind of thought this was going to be a Akatar ripoff, just judging by the title, but it was actually really good. So it's following this girl that is half a half human and it starts off with her just competing in a trial. And I love the way this book starts. It just kind of throws you into the action in the world and you kind of have to discover everything for yourself, which I thought was really cool. So we're following this girl as she competes in this trial to get these coins. And then we find out that she is competing to become what I think they're called like the elder fae, but they're like, Fey warriors essentially and when she goes to this crowning to like pick her uh, place that she'll be like the warrior of or something to that nature she ends up disrupting like the balance of this fey city and the entire city like disappears or I think it's called Underhill I'm not sure if it's a city but it's this entire fey area like disappears so right away the Seely Court and the Unseely Court think she has something to do with it so she runs away and she's trying to figure out what actually happened why her blood made this happen and it was really fun. And then there's this also like slow burn romance going on with a guy from the Unseelie Court that she's known her whole life. And it was just a really fun time. I hadn't read anything like that in a while and I really enjoyed it. So I'm definitely gonna continue on with the series. I believe there's two books out and I think there's gonna be three in total. And yeah, I highly recommend it. I think if you're a fan of Akatar and you like these hollow vows, you're definitely gonna love this. Um, it's a little spicy, not very, but very much enjoyed it and highly recommend. And this next book is the book that kind of started my reading slump and it is going to come as such a surprise to all of you. It came as a surprise to me and that is Zodiac Academy Curse Fates. Now I still love this series. It is one of my favorite series of all time. I love Darcy Vega. I love Tori. I love Orion, which is probably why this is not my favorite in the series. And I also just realized as I'm filming this, I listened to this for my reread on audio and I don't think I love the audio narrator because when I read this physically, I don't remember it like... I didn't dislike it, I was just kind of bored, and I feel like I was more excited the first time I read this. So, I don't know, it's fine. I still very much enjoy the series. I think I was just frustrated because I have Heartless Sky sitting on my Kindle waiting to be read, and I have to get through this book and then the sixth book before I jump into it. Um, just because I've gotten so far in my reread, I really wanna do a full one. So anyway, finished this, it was fine. Definitely enjoyed it more the first time around. And then I'm gonna read the sixth book, and then hopefully start Heartless Sky by the end of January, beginning of January, if I can push through. But yeah, anyway, Zodiac Academy kind of bugged me out this month. And then another book that just did not live up to the hype and I was not a huge fan of is Ice Planet Barbarians by Ruby Dixon. So this is part of a very long series and it is following Georgie who is kidnapped by a bunch of aliens that are kind of using uh, kidnapping for like human trafficking and the aliens realize that they have too much weight on their ship and they end up dropping the cargo and the cargo is Georgie and a bunch of other 22 year old girls that they have stolen. And where Georgie drops is actually a planet that is inhabited by these giant blue aliens that purr and have ribbed genitalia. And it was a time. I mean, I, I read it. Um, I think the first part kind of shocked me. There is um, trigger warning just uh, as like there it was, the first part has a very uh, disturbing scene. 
And that kind of threw me off because I've seen a lot of people talk about this and I didn't know that scene was gonna be in there. But then the rest of it is pretty much what you'd expect from like spicy alien spot. Um, I think it's worth giving a shot. Personally for me, I just didn't really enjoy it. All right, and the next three books are all by the same author. I went down a Colleen Hoover rabbit hole and I actually had you guys vote on which one I should start with. And by the smallest amount you guys voted with, it ends with us and I am so happy you did because this might have been my favorite read of 2021. Um, it's between that and the Ravenhood series. This book was so sad, but so good. It is following Lily, and when she is younger, her mother is the victim of domestic abuse, and she just vows that that's never gonna happen to her. And then when she is a little bit older, in high school, she forms a relationship with this boy who currently is homeless, and she's kind of helping him out. And we get to see her present day self, who's an adult living in Boston, just looking back at her past self and then just seeing how everything that she went through when she was younger is affecting her future and the person she is now. I cannot recommend this book enough. I absolutely loved it. I still think about this book daily. It is so, so good. And I'm so happy I started with this one because this is by far my favorite Colleen Hoover book I've ever read. Highly recommend it. Definitely, if you have similar reading taste to me, check this book out. It was just so, so good. And then next up, I read Ugly Love by Colleen Hoover. A lot of you also told me to check this one out and I did really enjoy it, just not quite as much as it ends with us. And this is following Tate, who is a girl who moves in with her brother who's a pilot and she meets his roommate and she, or she soon becomes infatuated with the roommate and they just form this relationship. However, the roommate makes it very clear he's not looking for love. He's done with love. He just wants this to be like a friends with benefits type thing. And we get to see why he is this way and why he chooses to live this way. And we get to see like the ugly side of love. And it was really good. I was so frustrated with Tate um, a few times. So I think that's why I didn't love it quite as much as it ends with us, but still very fun read, not fun. Very good read, still very sad. I feel like Colleen Hoover writes very traumatic books, but I would definitely recommend this. I think this is worth a read and it was really good. And then I read Verity by Colleen Hoover and I hated it. So this is probably one of my least favorite books of 2021. Um, I talk about it in that video. It is following a writer named Lowen who ends up signing up to be the ghost writer for this woman who is in a coma. And I did not enjoy this. I don't think this book knew what it wanted to be. Um, I think I went into it thinking it was another like romance similar to Ugly Love and it, it um, ends with us. However, I think this is actually supposed to be like a mystery and it had those mystery elements, but also not enough, I feel like, to classify it as like mystery horror. But then you also had this trauma and nothing about this book I enjoyed. And also the big like twist at the end, I called like right away. So I did not like this book at all. Um, could not recommend this. It just was not for me. And I haven't read any Colleen Hoover books since I read it. So I let me know in the comments. Uh, a few of you have told me some other Colleen Hoover books to check out. Let me know what your favorite is down in the comments and maybe I'll pick that up because Verity just left a really bad taste in my mouth and I know I'm gonna love more Colleen Hoover books. And this last book is the book I said I read half of. I've actually read more like three-fourths of it. I'm listening to it on audio format and that is The Eye of the World and this is by Robert Jordan. This is the first book in the Wheel of Time series. So like many of you, I am sure, my husband and I watched The Wheel of Time and we became completely addicted. It took me until like episode three to feel like really attached to the characters, but I just loved it. It was so much fun. I love the world. I love the Aes Sedai. I love uh, Rosamund Pike. She's one of my favorite actresses. Just to see her be like such a badass. It was awesome. I really, really enjoyed it. So my husband is not a reader and he started listening to the audiobook one day and I was like, let's read this together. So we're both listening to the audio version. Um, he's listening to the original audio version. I'm listening to the Rosamund Pike version. And I think we're just gonna read this. And then also my cousin is also reading the series. She went way ahead. I think she's on book three. But anyway, I think it's something that me and my husband are gonna read together or my husband and I are gonna read together. So it's gonna take me a while. I don't know if we're gonna finish all 14 books, but I'm kind of going at a slower pace just cause I wanna stay with him and like discuss the parts with him and the magic and all of that. So this is taking a while. I don't know when I'm gonna finish the series, if I'm gonna finish the series, but it is a really enjoyable time and just a really cool world. So I highly recommend checking it out. All right guys, those are all the books I read in December. Please let me know in the comments down below if you have read any of these books. I wanna hear your opinions. And I said this already, but I post new videos every Thursday and Sunday. And if you haven't yet, please like and subscribe. I will see you all next week. Bye.